Oy, it's kind of cold out. Well, it's eight degrees out right now and it's getting colder. It was just 12 degrees when I got in the truck. My toes are cold and I gotta warm up a little bit. And that right rocket. Yeah, he thinks if he sits still, I won't see him. So, I wanted to respond to a couple questions we've had about round bales and wrapping them. Not with net wrap, uh, but with uh, an inline wrapper. Well, the reason somebody would go through and wrap their hay, wrap their bales, um, is really to preserve feed value. Anything that we would wrap, at least as far as I would think we would ever need a wrapper for, would be for dry hay. And the reason we would do it is if we ran out of shed space, and even then, I mean, I grew up, we didn't wrap bales. Um, but right now, we have enough shed space for all of our hay that we don't really need to consider it. And like that bale was just pulled out of the shed this morning. Uh, Dad and I were putting bales out and that little bit of snow and ice on it is from this morning. Well, you can see when it's kept in out of the elements, the bale for the most part, well, it kept for all of its feed value. Now, if you go through and you don't have any hay storage, anything to keep the rain and the sun and everything else getting to it, Going through and wrapping the bales, say in like a, the long tubes of, of hay, it keeps the sun away from them, keeps the rain off of them, and the feed value isn't going to deteriorate. That is largely in part to why a lot of guys would wrap their hay. Just leaving them sit outside, I don't know if you guys can see this with this camera or not, um, but there's four bales down there that have been sitting outside for longer than you know <laughs> preferred and that's what eventually happens to bales that look like this they eventually start to rot deteriorate decompose and they eventually turn into something like that that does not have long-term feed potential as long as you have the storage for them or if you can keep it inside that bale will last for for years those down there um, storing them like that maybe a year well I'd say within less less than 12 months and leaving bales sit outside full time you'll have bales that look like that so you have multiple year <laughs> multiple years as far as being able to preserve the feed value compared to less than 12 months so if you can't store them inside guys would go through and wrap them with a wrapper uh, the reason we don't, other than the fact, like I just stated, we don't need to, um, it is expensive. It's, oh, the last time I priced it, it was about $11 a bale to wrap one bale. And that was in a, with an inline wrapper. Um, there are individual wrappers. I didn't price that, didn't need to. I would think that is a little bit more expensive, at least, because you are using more wrap. For one individual bale as opposed to wrapping a bunch of bales all all in one big line our fodder um, I have seen guys wrap fodder bales generally the weather kind of hit us hard this year uh, we had the all that snow then we had the weather got up to the high 40s and I think it was 51 that one day and what happened is is that all the snow that was on top of the, the fodder bales on top it melted and then it was running down the sides as the snow was melting it allowed it to penetrate the corn fodder and then it froze again so the bales on top with well there's some frozen ice on them now again um, the bales on top are a little bit of a nightmare to pull the net wrap off of I'm going through and wrapping them like I said I do know a couple guys in the area that do do it um, it would save you the headache of having to fight frozen net wrap and having to pull the wrap, the net wrap off the bales. Um, I carry a knife on me specifically for that reason. Um, if I have to, I do go through and I just, I'll cut off all the wrap in one go and then just try to unwrap the whole thing. Otherwise, like with the hay, if I can get away with it, I'll just unwrap it, just go around and around a couple times. I mean three times around it and the wraps off um, 
some guys in some situations um, probably the big dairies more than anything I don't know how many well I know some uh, beef guys would too um, where they do individually wrap um, I, don't, I don't think you I really don't see why you wouldn't do it or couldn't do it with a inline wrap wrapper either um, where people make fa uh, silage bales and what they do is they cut their hay and then they bale it when it's got a higher moisture content um, as opposed to you know dry hay where it's not gonna mold or anything um, you go through and you bale it like is like if you're gonna chop it then you go through and you wrap it but that allows it to ferment in the bale and you have an individual silage bale that you can feed out in a bale feeder or uh, well TMR I guess is is an option also I mean I have had some experience I mean I have some experience but not quite a lot of experience with wrapped bales it's a pain in the butt my own opinion on it um, would I ever do it yes um, we just have to get to a point where we can really justify it or even with the uh, weather the wrap and everything starts becoming more of a headache where it's worth doing it um, the reason I say that price the cost to do so is a bit of an issue also you're adding that much more waste material to get rid of waste material being the saran wrap or the plastic wrap that goes around it that you have to get rid of um, the net wrap and the twine adds up fast enough as it is in itself um, I say twine but we use just net wrap I did have a bunch of twine bales that I was pulling well big square bales I was pulling the twine off of and that stuff even adds up fairly quick in itself um, but you take the net wrap and the twine and then you add on that plastic wrap that is wrapped three to five times around that entire bale um, you get a lot of waste material really quick and if you don't have a place specifically set aside for that which a good cure for that is having a burn barrel or a trash bin we used to have the a dumpster from the local uh, garbage facility um, at the farm full time we used to fill that up full uh, every week but um, just having a place where you can go with some of that stuff so you're not constantly tripping over the wrap and everything is is huge um, as far as doing an inline wrapper maybe someday as far as um, wrapping our corn fodder if we start doing too much more corn fodder I, I could see doing it <laughs> otherwise maybe looking to putting in just another shed altogether I like seeing that money go towards storage or building another building facility because when you do wrap I mean $11 a bale I mean you're looking 150 200 bales first crop maybe 100 150 bales second it starts to add up and we are looking at seeding down a few more acres of hay this year so yeah the dog just gassed me I think Rocket gets to ride in the back of the truck back to the farm so, I hope this answers some of your questions about wrapping bales and why you guys don't see us do it um, I did help um, the farmer over in Platteville that I help every once in a while um, I did help him wrap <laughs> I'm the one that ran the wrapper. I was loading it with the skid steer, and it's simple enough. It's a simple process, um, especially if you're planning on storing them for long term. And you don't have a place inside to put them. Um, I think it, I think it's worthwhile. It's just um, incorporating it into your your operation. So, I hope that explains something. I hope it wasn't completely as clear as mud for you, but. All I can say is I tried. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you guys later. And now you know the rest of the story.